All right, guys. I'm going to start this video by saying that if you have been discarded by the narcissist, you have won. Ladies and gentlemen, I will guarantee you this, that you have won big time. So I want you to look beyond the pain. I want you to look beyond the breakup, look beyond the trauma, look beyond the hardships and everything. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. You have won. The reason as to why I'm saying you have won is because you are now on the journey of becoming your highest self, your highest version. You're becoming, you're on the journey of becoming the best version of yourself. So I want you to look beyond your circumstances and your situation. Do not worry about a damn thing. Give yourself time to heal. Take time to recover. Take time to create new memories. Take time alone by yourself. It's very, very important. I've told you guys, do not rush any relationship. Do not rush to go around because you're paining, you're in pain and everything, you're suffering, you're hurting, and you're going around to into new relationships. You're going to hurt those people. So take time by yourself, okay? Heal, ground, earth, pray, recover, go to the gym, eat well, sleep well. Everything is going to come into play, into place. Everything is going to fall into place. And I usually say these things from experience, okay? Now, before we talk about the new supply, let us focus on this discard, okay? You have been with this person for so many years. You have done everything. You have loved them in the way that they should, you should uh, they, they expect. You have always wished the, uh, the best for them. You've always picked them up whenever they fell. But at the end of the day, you're feeling like it's not enough. So nothing you've been doing is enough. And they are making it known to you that actually you are the problem in this entanglement. So the only thing you're hearing from them is like, you are the problem. That's why I'm leaving you. That's why I've made somebody new. That person is better. You know, they wish the best for me and they are doing all these little things for me. Do not worry about the dumb thing, ladies and gentlemen. Everything you see happening in that situation at the end, there is thing that you're not seeing. I'm talking this from experience because a lot of times many people are blinded by this discard because they think, oh, the whole world is crashing down. You know, the whole world is crashing down on you. I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, for anything to be built in your life, there has got to be a tower moment. So something has got to come to the end, especially if you are dealing with something that wasn't for, for your highest good. So you best believe everything is falling into place. Now, When you leave these individuals, you guys have gone through a discard. They have discarded you, you have discarded them, it doesn't matter, it's either way the same. You're feeling like you have failed, okay? You have failed in life. You feel like you have failed this relationship. You're blaming yourself, you're hurting. You're thinking everything is on you. All the fingers, all the barrels are pointed towards you and you cannot see those little details on the side. And then, of course, what most of you guys are doing, which is one of the things I did as well. So you are going around there on their supply, on, on their, what do they call it, on their social medias. And then you're checking them out. Okay, so what are they doing? There's this new person now. There's this new girl. You're checking their dresses. You're checking their body shapes. You're checking their attitude. You know what I mean? Everything looks like it's lovey-dovey. You know, everything is, looks like happy. They are happy and everything. And they are doing all these little things that you were not able to do with this narcissist, okay? We have all been there. Do not worry about a damn thing. The narcissist is supposed to discard you because the reason why they're supposed to discard you is because you are involved with a dysfunctional being. This person does not understand the true ethics of a normal relationship. 
so they do not know how to handle beautiful people like you. That's the reason as to why when they have destroyed you that, to that magnitude whereby the relationship is, has actually gone west, it's irreparable. That is why they are running off because they cannot handle taking accountability for their actions and for their behavior. So they do not want to get caught because now the relationship is getting too sour to handle and too hard to bear. So what they are doing now, they are speeding off and they are going out there to find somebody new. And a lot of times the victims think that uh, it has got anything to do with them. So most of the times you're beating yourself up. You're thinking that, oh, wasn't I enough? Or is there something I wasn't doing? Uh, is there something I was doing wrong? So it's like you're blaming yourself a lot of things that you don't, you don't even know nothing about. Everything is supposed to look very nice when the narcissist is dealing with a new source of supply. Everything is supposed to look perfect. Because you see, the thing is, they are supposed to show you that leaving you was the best decision they have ever made. So it makes them, it boosts their ego, it caresses their ego. You know what I mean? For them to believe or to feel that this thing that they are doing of discarding you is the best thing that has ever happened to them. Because now finally you see them in one or two days, they have met somebody new and all of a sudden they are so much in love. They are falling in love and everything is okay and they are doing all these beautiful things together. Everything is okay, according to their little minds, okay? But you see, the thing is, what you guys don't understand is that actually, the narcissist secretly admires you. They miss each and every little, th each and every little thing about you. They have been with you for a very long period of time for a reason. That is because you used to caress their ego. Okay? They remember everything you did and the part that you played in those relationships when you were with them. But you see, the thing is, as a person who has gone through abuse over a good period of time, your batteries have run out and you feel like there's nothing more you can do. So you feel like there's nothing more to offer because you don't done everything and nothing is working. So is the reason as to why now they are running off and meeting somebody very new, very, very quickly. And most of the times we are all taken by surprise. So none of us have seen this coming. But you see, I've always emphasized something in my videos. I've told you guys, heal. Ladies and gentlemen, it's painful, I know. I understand, I can relate. It's very, very painful and very difficult to heal. But heal, guys, put in the work and heal, okay? Do the work on yourself. Go to the gym. Take care of yourself, you know. Eat well. Love yourself. That love that you've always been putting into toxic people, toxic individuals, put that love back into yourself and continue to love yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to start glowing in a very short period of time. The people that you have left behind, do not worry about what they are doing. So do not stalk their social medias. Don't check what they are doing. Don't check where they are going on holidays. Don't check what meals they have had. Don't check all these, all these little comments that they are putting out there on the social media. Do not worry about the damn thing. Put all the attention and focus in yourself. You are going to start to glow. Now, the thing is about healed empaths, a healed individual, when you heal, you are going to start discovering your worth because now you understand your worth. Because remember that these people did not deserve you, but they do not want you to see that. Let me repeat this one more time. The individuals that you're dealing with, they do not deserve you. They have never deserved you from day one, but they do not want you to discover that and to know that. So they do not want you to find out who you are. Because a lot of times these nurses, they are engaged with people who are actually asleep. They are people who don't know the power that is within them. They do not know who they are. We're talking about the empaths. Now you see, when you start to heal and get on this healing journey, it is going to put you in a very good vibration. You're going to start vibrating higher. You're cleansing, you're detoxing, you're decluttering, you're doing self-love, you're loving yourself, you're putting a lot of attention to yourself, you're doing all these beautiful things for yourself. And now you're starting to glow. 
and remember that the individuals, are, uh, individuals that you've left behind, as much as they may look happy on the other side, they are actually stalking you each and every single day. So they are watching your every move every single day. Is the reason as to why you hear the hoovers. So these hoovers are usually coming in at that point whereby those people, they feel that, oh, this person is healing. Eventually they have discovered who they are. They are becoming the best version of themselves. That is why they rush in very quickly to hoover you. You know what I mean? But a person who has healed, you are not able to take back any toxic individuals in your life because now you understand your worth and you know your value. And you're not ready to take back any toxic individual back into your life. So what happens is that now you start to resist these hovers. They will come in. I've told you guys. It can even sometimes take one or two years, three years, four years. People, people have been hovered even after 10 years. So the hovers are always going to come in. But a person that has healed and they have discovered and remembered who they are and they have discovered their worth, they are never ever going to fall for those hovers. So you're going to resist the hovers and you're going to refuse to take back these individuals. Because remember that what has happened, what is happening to you, what happened to you is the same thing that is happening to the new supply. So as they are devaluing the new supply at some point or planning to discard them, that's when the narcissist is showing back in your life because they want to take you back so that they can fill up that position. Because remember, I've told you guys in my videos, these individuals, they are running away from a wound. There's a wound that they're trying to cover. So you have caused them an injury. The discard has caused them an injury and they do not know how to deal with that wound. That, that's the reason as to why they are rushing off to get somebody new so that they can actually avoid feeling that pain of a discard. So what is happening is now, they are on the side stalking you. They are following you up, they are riding uh, They are riding around your house, they are driving around your house, past your house, past your workplaces. They are asking aunties and uncles about you, they are asking their friends about you, what is that, what are they doing, who are they dating, all those kind of details. So they are actually stalking you on a daily basis because they want an opportunity to come back in and hover you. Now you see, a time comes when you're not falling for these hovers, so you're refusing, you're resisting these hovers. And these individuals, they're going to go into shock because they see that you're doing well and for the very first time you're realizing that actually you do not need them in your life. So what happens in this scenario is that now they're going to go back home and they're going to start punishing the new supply. That is when you're going to see those new supplies. They are going to get the worst, the worst time they have ever seen in their lives. Because the narcissist believes that they are losing you. They are starting to get to, to come to this acceptance and realization that actually you're never coming back. You're too awakened to take them back. Okay? You're too healed to take them back. You can never be able to get back into that BS and all the pain that they've been causing you. So you are now understanding that they are gone. So they're starting to feel this on a very deep level. They are feeling that this person is gone. Okay? What you need to understand, ladies and gentlemen, these individuals, they are going to turn the barrels to the new supply. They are going to punish those individuals. They are going to cause them a lot of pain. They are going to hurt them. They are going to cause them a lot of pain and they are going to hurt them because they believe it is their, it is their, it is because of them that they are permanently lost you. So that's when you are going to see them, they are going to go back there and tell them, oh, you know what, it's because of you, you know what, uh, it's because of you that this person, we guys have separated and now everything is gone and you know, we are getting divorced and those, all, the kind of those kind of, all those kind of things. Because at this moment now, you are now starting to plan the divorce. You're starting to go to court and take back your power and everything. You started to organize yourself and prepare yourself for the divorce. But remember that you are dealing with a person who is not prepared for the divorce. I've told you guys many times in my videos, a divorce can cause those individuals a very, very terrible narcissistic injury. You know what I mean? A divorce can crumble a narcissist to the floor. It can bring, the, it can bring them down on their knees because now they know that you're signing out of this entanglement permanently, officially and permanently, and they know it's game over. So when you see these things happening, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a visitor. Hello. Look at him. Hey. Hey, doggy. <laughs> Look at him over there. The final separation and the permanent separation from you, between you and the narcissist, 
is hitting these individuals like a brick in the face. And they do not know how to handle this. So they know that at some point in time, because remember that every, every relationship that they get into, they know that that entanglement is going to end at some point. So they know the cycle. They know the cycle how it works. You know, love bomb, abuse, devalue, discard, and then hover. So they know the cycle how it goes. But this time they know that they do not they do not they do not stand a chance with you because remember that you as this as the original as the main as the primary great a source of supply you have played a very important part in their life and now they don't know what to do with themselves so this whole thing is a pretense it's called it's, it's some kind of an illusion the thing that they are playing around with in your supply it's an illusion for you to beat down yourself up and think that you are the problem you know you are the you are the one that uh, didn't listen you are the one who didn't do this you are the one who didn't do that you are the cause of that breakup. So most of the times, it's an illusion for them to run into those relationships and make you believe that you're the problem, you're the problem causer. So they want that string. As far as you may be, or whatever you may be doing with your life, you're married or whatever, you're in a new relationship, or you've got a new job and you're glowing. No matter how far you go, they always want that string that is connected to them, whereby they can be able to very swiftly flow back into your lives most of the times. That's what, it, that's what happens most of the times. So no matter how happy they look, no matter what the new supplier is going to do, they are going to buy them cars, they are going to build them a house, they are going to take them on trips, they are going to do everything to make sure that they are having a very good relationship with them. But let me tell you something, you are dealing with a very insatiable human being in this scenario. There is nothing you're going to do is going to be enough for those individuals. So they always need something on the side. They always have got to have a plan B, a plan C, maybe a plan D, most of the cases. They are forever going to hate the new supply for losing you. Because remember that you, are the, you have been the great air supply in this situation. So they are going to forever curse and they are going to hate and they are going to destroy that person to that magnitude you've never seen before. We're talking about the new supply. The new supply is going to have the worst face you can ever imagine in your mind with the narcissist. So this thing is like a revenge. So for example, let me say, when they are losing you, they are blaming this person for all the things that went wrong in that entanglement. Because remember that when they were going with the new supply, the new supply knew everything about you. So they were cheating behind your back. They were sleeping with the new supply and the new supply was actually knowing everything that you're doing in the house. So most of the times the new supply has gotten involved with this web, in this web of lies that they're not even prepared for. So by this time, all this time that the Nazis has been with the new supply, they have been trying to prove a point that actually they were meant for each other. But on the other side, ladies and gentlemen, it's a lie and it's an illusion. It was a getaway. It was an escape. It was an escape from accountability because the, the relationship was failing. So it was an escape from them taking accountability of their actions, what they are doing with you. That's the reason as to why they run off with the new supply. So it has nothing to do with you at all, ladies and gentlemen. So if a person who is out there and you're thinking that, oh, you are missing out, you know what I mean? Of course, these guys are having all this fun and everything. You're seeing them buying all these new cars and everything. You have got to know something, ladies and gentlemen. All these things are just a projection of what they want the world to see. But it is not the reality of what is happening inside the house. Because what you see on the outside, when they move out of the house and everything, is contradictory to what is happening inside that house. So in that house, you, you at best believe there's a lot of abuse that is going on in this situation. It has nothing to do with you, ladies and gentlemen. You continue to heal. You carry on and work on yourself. Do the work, do the inner work, do the outer work. It doesn't matter what you have. Anything you can do, ladies and gentlemen, to heal. You have got to do that. And, and I speak this from experience, ladies and gentlemen. I've been on this healing journey for three years. I'm continuing to grow each and every single day. I'm continuing to discover new things about myself. I'm continuing to, to go very deep into my journey without this kind of toxic individuals and i'm not looking back even regretting whatever happened in that time i'm just understanding that this this whole thing this whole situation has been a blessing so it has been a blessing in disguise i remember doing a video about this do not worry ladies and gentlemen they do not love that person they do not like them and they hate them with passion that is because they believe it is because of them that they were able to lose you permanently and they know that they can never get you back 
no matter how much they try or no matter what they do, they can never get you back into their lives. And that is what is going to crush those individuals because it's going to cause them another narcissistic injury. So I'd like to know, ladies and gentlemen, what you think about this video in the comment section below. You always know that I do love and appreciate your support. You can always book a session with me, ladies and gentlemen, if you're dealing with narcissistic abuse. Or if you want help with spiritual growth and development, you can always book a session with me. All the emails you need, you'll find them in the description section below. And until then, I'll catch you guys in my next one. There's a signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.